Welcome back. I'm Anthony McLaughlin, and by the power of technology, I'm with Laura Bain from Halifax. Hi, Laura. You were recently in Sydney, Cape Breton for a very special event. Can you tell us what you were up to? Yeah, that's right. Um, I was up in Sydney, and that was for the uh, Canada Council of the Blind Atlantic Sports and Recreation Weekend. And this was actually the 41st year for the event, which is held in a different city each year. So what exactly took place while you were there? Yeah, so much. Um, it was basically a non-stop weekend. Uh, when we got there Friday night, there was a talent show uh, where people did all sorts of things from poetry to telling jokes to singing and playing music. Um, and then Saturday morning, we were off to Glace Bay for some bowling. There were track and field events a Saturday afternoon at Cape Breton University. It was a beautiful day. Um, there was like javelin and discus and 60, 100, 400 meter dash. Um, and then there was swimming at the YMCA and finished off Saturday night with a uh, dance at the Legion, uh, which was just a chance for everybody to really relax and have a good time. Uh, and then Sunday there were indoor events, which was nice because it was raining on and off. Um, there was table bowling and darts and cribbage in the afternoon, which I personally have no idea how to play. Um, and then the whole weekend wrapped up Sunday night with a banquet, uh, with a turkey dinner and uh, awards for the, for the events. Wow, it sounds like a jam-packed couple of days. What was the competition like there for the sporting events? Did you win any awards? Funny you should ask. Um, I did take home some medals to my surprise. Um, and I have them here. I won uh, best all around partially blind female uh, for the weekend, which was very exciting. And I also won second place in the talent show. Um, so I was uh, honored and surprised to have won those. Um, and I also took home a couple of ribbons um, for some of the track and field events and surprisingly darts, which was not something I would have thought I was very skilled at, but I guess it was a hidden talent that I, I didn't know about. What was your favorite part of the weekend? My favorite part of the weekend was honestly just getting a chance to connect with some uh, friends. There were lots of people there that we featured on stories uh, that we've done from Atlantic Canada and also just people that I knew from being part of the blind and low vision community. Uh, there were lots of people there that I hadn't met before, so it was great to meet some new people. Um, I really enjoyed getting outside for the track and field events on Saturday. It was beautiful and I really enjoyed the jam sessions. Uh, I brought my guitar up with me. Um, and really just the whole weekend was great. Um, I have to give kudos to the Sydney chapter that organized it because the whole thing was just really well organized. They had a ton of great volunteers. Um, they had even trained the whole the hotel staff on how to interact with people who are blind and low vision. Um, so really just all around, it was a great experience. Well, it sounds like you'd recommend it. So do you think you'd go back next year? Well, next year for the 42nd annual uh, event, it's going to be held in Summerside, Prince Edward Island, and I definitely hope to get there. Um, as I mentioned, uh, this event is open to any Canada Council of the Blind member living in Atlantic Canada. Um, you don't have to be part of a chapter. You can go up as an independent. If you want to find out if there's a chapter in your area, you can go to ccbnational.net. Uh, there is also information there about the Sports and Recreation Weekend. And you can also find out if there isn't a chapter in your area, how you can register as an independent. I would definitely recommend anyone who's thinking about it uh, uh, give it a try because it's a lot of fun.